Welcome back to the show. Thanks for watching. The Red Raider offense has a new leader, West Texas native Seth Dagey. Red Raider Weekly caught up with a six foot one junior. Oh, yeah, dream come true. Uh, you know, my dad, I remember my dad, uh, their team was playing in a semifinal game here in 1996. And uh, I'd never been to Jones AT Stadium. And, and uh, after, after it was over, you know, he went and showed me, or actually before, he went and like took me in the locker room and, and showed me the locker room, and I was so pumped about it. And ever since then, you know, I've been wanting to be a Red Raider. Yeah, I think he's a natural leader. He's uh, he's really waited a long time to, to do that. And I think he's had a, you know, he, he tore his knee up as a junior. He's gonna be the starting quarterback. Uh, tore his knee up again uh, his senior year at Friendship. So he's able to sit back, and, and it's hard to be a leader when you're hurt, you know? So I think he was able to sit back and, and watch in high school how those guys led. Then he was able, you know, here for three years to sit back and kind of watch. And I think he's really kind of taken some positive influence and kind of some things that he didn't like and, and he's put that into effect. And really, you know, he's he's kind of grabbed hold of this football team since last year, as soon as we got, uh, since, as soon as we won that bowl game. And it's, and it's been in his team since. You know, it's an honor. You know, uh, I look up to those guys. I look up to, uh, you know, Cliff Kingsbury, Sonny Cumbie, BJ Simmons, all those guys. I, I looked up to Graham Harrell. Uh, those guys are like, you know, superstar heroes to me. And, uh, you know, to be able to be in a position to where I can maybe, you know, uh, be up there with those guys is it, it's super exciting. You know, it's a dream come true. And I, and I can't wait for, you know, when the games start rolling around. I, I just, I'm, I'm super excited about it. Well, Seth's a guy that really knows the system well. He's been around it for a long time, and he's, he's taken a ton of reps in practice, not so much in games, but he's seen a lot of different looks in practice, and he's really led the offense well. He hadn't turned the football over uh, during practice very much, and, and has gone out, and the kids really kind of rallied around him. I think it's very good that he was behind Sheffield and Potts and kind of learned for another year, but he has two years now to prove himself as a, as a quarterback in major college football. He's got some good guys around him. It's pretty crazy because uh, thinking back, um, I, I helped recruit him, you know, and get him here. You know, I used to, you know, talk to him a lot uh, when he was a senior in high school. So it's pretty crazy to see him grow up here and, um, you know, get experience. And, and um, he's finally ready to play. I, I see it in his eyes. He's been waiting for a while. My expectations for myself are always high. Sometimes maybe a little too high. You know, I always hear people set goals, but realistic goals. Maybe sometimes my my goals are really un unrealistic. You know, if uh, it's, I'm always striving to have a perfect day, and, and I know in the back of my head nobody ever could throw a perfect game in football. But uh, so my expectations are really up there, you know, just for me. And, and I don't want to, you know, I'm one of those guys. I don't want to let anybody down. Uh, and that, that's one thing that, that you know that bothers me is, is if I make a if I make a bad play, a negative play, you know, I feel like I've let the the other ten guys down. And 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 it really, you know, it bothers me. But like like I said, I'm trying. You know, I'm improving on. I'm getting past that and and, and playing the next play. But, um, you know, as a team, I think, uh, you know, I think we just need to keep improving every week. And I think we have a shot to surprise some people. Um, it's just one of those things that we got to, you know, it's one of those things we got to make a choice to be great uh, and, uh, and, really, and really improve every week. And, and I think we'll have a shot at, you know, winning the Big 12 championship. Stay tuned for more Red Raider Weekly after the break.